Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a peek into the person that you are interested in. I'm going to take a look at what's on their mind, how they view you, how they feel about the connection, what's blocking the connection and the outcome. So this will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there, so feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. This time I'm going to invite Spirit to please bring forth messages for Sagittarius regarding their partner. Now this could be your current partner, your future partner. So we'll see how they view this connection and what they're thinking. Once again, thanks um, to everyone that has, I said this in the last uh, reading, but I'll say it again. Thank you to everyone who has commented or subscribed. Um, I read all of your comments and I really appreciate them. I appreciate all of your support. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. All right. I feel like I can get started now. I think I've said everything I need to say. So what's on this person's mind? Interesting. Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Cups. Not a bad start. So this person is thinking about love. I feel that with the Wheel of Fortune here, it's, it's not going to be in the timing that you're expecting. Um, this person will not approach you when you're expecting it is kind of what I'm feeling. How do they see you? How do they view Sagittarius? <laughs> Empress, all right. <laughs> That's like the best card to be viewed as, right? They're, they see you as attractive someone to grow with. How do they feel about the connection? How does this person feel about the connection spirit? The Sagittarius. Ten of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this person has put an end to something in order to come with this cup and this pentacle towards you. Whatever they went through wasn't easy. Um, they've been through some sort of ending or some sort of cycle that has ended for them. What's blocking this connection or what are the challenges? Someone's heartbroken. That's what's the challenge. One of you is still heartbroken about what happened in the past. Now energies are, can be vice versa. So just keep that in mind. So this could be you, this could be the other person. Um, so that's that's what's blocking or keeping this connection from moving forward. Okay, what's the outcome for Sagittarius and their person? Two of Pentacles. Interesting. I have the Five of Cups under the deck here. Um, I feel like someone is still deciding whether to move forward, whether to make this offer. Or maybe they're worried that you won't accept or Sagittarius, you don't know if you should accept. Um, take it how it resonates, but I have two knights here with very good intentions. I have an empress who is, I mean, she, Everything she touches turns into gold. She's definitely the, she can birth creativity, new ideas. She can harvest. She's abundant, you know, she, she has it all. I feel like this person or, or you, um, someone views someone else in this way. I feel like even though they've gone through a difficult cycle it's like they're not gonna let that stop them 
from going after their Empress. So let's clarify with another deck. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Sagittarius in regards to their partner, present or future. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Ten of Swords, this is happening exactly as it should. Um, but something had to end here for an offer to come in. That's clear as day. Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. What is this here? Oh, Page of Wands, yeah. Someone's just seriously attracted, yeah, with the Five of Cups again. This person is going through it. Um, someone could be focused on their past, just disappointed. Maybe you already rejected this person once before. Or this person really is scared to be rejected. Tell me about the Empress. about the empress this is how they view you so i mean if you've been thinking about what they truly feel it's too many but page of pentacles is there so that's great if you've been thinking about how they like you know wondering how this person feels about you i feel like their feelings are sincere tell me about this empress yeah <laughs> hangman yeah this person even though they see you as the Empress, it's almost like they're intimidated by that with the hangman. They're not ready to move forward or they've just realized that they felt this way about you. Um, wow. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Jeez. Okay, fine. Three of Wands. One more please, Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person has been through a lot with the Nine of Wands. I feel like they've been waiting for the right time to, to bring you this offer because they, they want to wrap this up, whatever this is. Eight of Cups under the deck. This person's going to walk away from a situation. Tell me about the Three of Swords. This is what's blocking this connection or keeping this connection from moving forward. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Oh my God, what is going on? Cards just want to like fly out of my hands today. OMG, I cannot. <laughs> Tell me about the Three of Swords, Spirit. I'm trying to shuffle like carefully and it's just not. Usually I don't have to think about it, but they're just all over this table. Okay, so someone is healing. That's why. They're taking their time to heal with the star here and the Three of Swords. This person needs to heal before, or either they need to heal or wrap this up. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but that's not the initial thought that I had there. Wow, Ten of Swords wanted to jump out again, so I'm just going to put it out here. I have a few more here. Knight of Swords in the deck. I had Knight of Swords in the deck before. Eight of, Ace of Swords, King of Swords. This person wants to talk, for sure. But this needs to happen first, I feel. I think they want to also tell you like everything they've been through and why it's taken them so long to finally come to you. And just move these over. Okay, what's the outcome here with the Two of Pentacles? What's this Two of Pentacles? Got the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So someone, someone, um, I feel like someone is working on themselves so that when they make this offer, because it's, it's almost like they've been doing research on you and they see that you're doing well. And it's like they want to bring just as much to the table here. They don't want to come empty handed is, is what I'm getting. Um, this person with the Seven of Swords is trying to be very strategic or sneaky about looking into you, trying to figure out what you're doing. And they've been, yeah, they've been hard at work on themselves. 
One more for the Two of Pentacles and the overall outcome. Jeez. Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Well, there you go. <laughs> this person is going to come in. And I have two Knight of Cups here. Um, I feel like they're a little defensive though. They they might they might be scared you're gonna reject them. <sighs> Empress right underneath. And nine of swords. This person's worried that you're gonna reject them. But they, they want it all with you. They want the ten of pentacles with you. Um they wanna discuss it. They they wanna tell you everything they've been through to get to this point. Um, but they're a little insecure. So um, I say be patient with them. Let them come to you. You know, have a listening heart. Um, you know, try to understand where they're coming from. Now, if this is someone that, you know, is not worth speaking to, then yeah, feel free to block them if that's what you've done. Seven of Wands can also be blocked energy. So, um, you know, don't feel like you have to accept this offer, but I see someone that's very sincere, so... I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Let me know down in the comments if this resonated with you or what this is all about. I love hearing you guys tell me what the readings are like for you. Subscribe if you like what I do, and I'll see you guys in my next video.